First son, just your thoughts about that? Uh, well, it was a really tough match today, and uh, she plays um, not like, you know, common girls game. She's really has a good defense, she has good touch, and it's not easy to, you know, finish the point with her. And um, yeah, I think we play like super long games and uh, lots of rallies and I'm just really happy that I kept believing in myself yeah and I kept heading to the last point well, how Sarah plays the defense as you mentioned for you to get through how frustrating she can be what does it say about now getting through her that you can get through any defensive player yeah like when you play players like that it's really like gives you a challenge because you're the you're either the one to finish or you're the one to you know to miss but yeah it just challenge you like like you need to be more patient and also at the same time like keep being aggressive what's been the key for you to, with these two back-to-back -back wins and um, just confidence wise you must be feeling pretty good going into the next match against uh, Trimitola yeah, I mean, obviously after today, it's, it's a tough match, and I think it really gives me a lot of confidence, like especially I think I getting used to these courts here, <laughs> like after three hours, I think it's a good <laughs> yeah, <laughs> preparation for the next match. How are you taking yeah. the balls, um, you know, because it's the, the extra duty ball yeah. this year compared to the last? Are you finding it easy to control, difficult, do you not care, do, do you ever notice when the balls are changing? Well, the results is, are better this year, <laughs> but I don't feel really like a lot of difference. But I mean, it's actually it's more demanding for your body. I can feel it's more stress like to the body. So, yeah, it's not easy to play with. I think it's the men's ball. So it's you don't really feel when you're playing, but your body feels. Okay. Yeah. You feel on your arm or just generally? Yeah, like generally, yeah. You got love for your, your puppies because they're so wonderful on IG. Can you talk about how long you've had them and you know they're stars in their own right? <laughs> I wish they're mine, but actually they're not. Yeah, just the uh, friends, puppy. But uh, yeah, obviously when you have them around, you always so happy and you always feel like much loved. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do in New York besides when U.S. Open matches? Um, there are lots of things you can do in New York. I think that's the actually one thing about New York that is special. And actually, I wanted to watch uh, one of the shows if I get a chance, if I have time. The yeah, the Broadway shows. Yes. And a show that was special was the type was a, the success that you had at Roland Garros with Sue Lay Slay. And just your thoughts on looking back at that in terms of just that run. And the, and the good vibes about it and playing here now at the Open with her? I think um, here you definitely enjoy playing because the crowd also enjoys uh, watching us playing. They really uh, gives a lot of energy. So for me, I like playing here and yeah, I, hopefully I can give, I can, you know, play one more and two more and more matches here, yeah. Experience of playing doubles with Shisue and the pressure of playing, you know, a Grand Slam final, big court, all that will help you kind of in this next match. Obviously, on paper, it's maybe not a high profile match, but there's a lot uh, on the line just around a 16 at the US Open. So, do you think it will help you with your nerves, things like that, having gone through a high pressure situation like that in Paris? Yeah, definitely. I think because in doubles, it actually. Um, it's very intense and because you've got a person on net so it's actually like really a lot of pressure when you return or when you're rallying so I think I learned a lot from Sue from these doubles matches to keep me improving when I'm playing singles yeah one more um, last question in English yeah you're on the rise and, and you could play in the future the WTA finals whether doubles or singles is there one city in the world would you like to see the finals play in the future that you would love to have it be played and you be a part of it? 
Well, I mean, um, Shenzhen, like my hometown, they had the final for uh, one year, but uh, unfortunately because of COVID. So yeah, I hope they can have it back one year and really fo looking forward to play there.